I started to question all this stupid hat shit when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I was a Catholic. Uh, at least until I reached the age of reason, okay? <laughs> so, I was a Catholic. I was a Catholic for about two, two and a half years, something like that. <laughs> And during that time, one of the things they told us was that if a boy or a man went into a church, he had to remove his hat in order to honor the presence of God. But they had already told me that God was everywhere. So I used to wonder, well, if God is everywhere, why would you even own a hat? Why not show your respect? Don't even buy a fucking hat. And just to confuse things further, they told the women exactly the opposite. Catholic women and girls had to cover their heads when they went into church. Uh, same as in certain temples, Jewish men have to cover their, their heads in those temples. In those same temples, Jewish women not allowed to cover their heads. So try to figure this shit out. <laughs> Catholic men and Jewish women, no hats. Catholic, Catholic women and Jewish men, hats. Somebody's got the whole thing totally fucking backwards, don't you think? And what is this religious fascination with headgear? Every religion's got a different fucking hat. Did you ever notice that? The Hindus have a turban, the Sikhs have a tall white turban, Jews have a yarmulke, the Muslims have the kafiya, the bishop has a pointy hat on one day and a round hat on another day, cardinal has a red hat, pope has a... Everybody's got a fucking hat. One group takes them off, the other group puts them on. Personally, I would never want to be a member of any group where you either have to wear a hat or you can't wear a hat. I think... Uh, I think all religions should have one rule and one rule only. Hats optional. That's all you need to run a really good religion. Here's another one of these civic customs. Swearing on the Bible. You understand that shit? They tell you to raise your right hand, place your left hand on the Bible. Does this stuff really matter? Which hand? Does God really give a fuck about details like this? Suppose you put your right hand in the Bible, you raise your left hand. Would that count? Or would God say, sorry, wrong hand, try again? And what... Why does one hand have to be raised? What is the magic in this gesture? This seems like some sort of a primitive voodoo mojo shtick. Why not put your left hand on the Bible, let your right hand hang down by your side? It's more natural. Or put it in your pocket. Remember what your mother used to say? Don't put your hands in your pockets. Does she know something we don't know? Is this hand shit really important? Well, let's get back to the Bible, America's favorite national theatrical prop. Suppose the Bible they hand you to swear on is upside down. Or backward. Or both. And you swear to tell the truth on an upside-down, backward Bible. Would that count? Suppose the Bible they hand you is an old Bible and half the pages are missing. Suppose all they have is a Chinese Bible in an American court. Or a Braille Bible and you're not blind. Suppose they hand you an upside-down, backward Chinese Braille Bible with half the pages missing. At what point does all of this stuff just break down and become just a lot of stupid shit that somebody made up? They fucking made it up, folks. It's make-believe. It's make-believe. Now, all right. Okay. Let's leave the Bible aside. We'll get back to the science fiction reading later.